so hey guys welcome or welcome back to the channel and in today's video i am going to be showing my hamatan dry winter weather full skincare routine i'm hoping in this um in this video i'm going to be showing you guys the products that i use in this season and more importantly how i apply and how I approach skincare in this unique season right so this season is the opposite of the main season that we often experience here in Africa specifically in Nigeria so currently the weather is very dry and the humidity level is extremely low I mean I just washed my face not so long ago about less than five minutes ago and look it's already dry while i was busy trying to you know prep my camera my tripod and everything so it's <laughs> completely dry um i'm just about to head out you know to start my day so basically i'm trying to start with my morning skincare routine so usually i don't like to wait until my face is dry before i start applying my skincare products i like to apply it on a damp face it's very important because the priority you know in terms of how you should approach your skincare routine during this um season this weather is hydration hydration is the top priority hydration and locking in moisture so hydration and locking in moisture is my main priority and of course sun protection as always because there isn't um, really enough water content in the air and we tend to go dehydrated and even the skin tends to get dehydrated especially during the daytime the afternoon time so it's easier for the sun to really act up on your skin and cause a lot of sun damages and or whatnot so sun protection is also very very important so i am just going to start with spraying my face with water because like i said we want to you know um have as much hydration on our face we want to like you know lock in as moist as as much moisture as we can lock into our face okay so this is just water with um detail in it so it's just like clean water i am going to i'm just going to spray it all over my face like that just to keep it wet to give it that wet look because i can't go back to the bathroom again so really i just like allow it to sit for a while and I don't allow it to dry completely before I go in with my so normally I would go in with my haru haru face toner but I'm going to be skipping this step this morning but normally I will start with this so it's a hydrating toner and it also give my skin an extra cleanse after washing my face but I'm also not looking to really strip my face of moisture so I really don't do a lot of heavy cleansing in the morning time I do it in the evening time so evening time is when I do more of the intense cleansing and I tend to go in with my toner but for this morning period I just prefer to skip it and go straight for yeah the beginning of the routine which is using my vitamin C serum and this is a serum I'm currently using this is the roshun roshun skincare vitamin c serum with 20 percent vitamin c so the main serum i used to use which is the my signature c source vitamin c serum this is it so i have i'm i'm out of it it's finished so i'm going to order more of this because this is like my best my favorite vitamin c serum so currently i'm just filling in with this and this is so far so good is quite gentle well i'm still on the trial period i think this is like my third week using it i'm going to be doing a review if you want to see the review of this vitamin c serum please leave a comment in the comment section down below so what i basically do is apply it <laughs> i have to be careful with my eyes 
um yeah so i just take this all over all over so i'm really trying to rush this step because i need to hurry up and go and i'm a bit late i have to leave the house like right now so i just like rub it all over i try not to do too much of the rubbing yeah and that's another very important tip to note so you see one thing with this particular skincare routine sometimes when it comes to your skincare routine right it's 60 percent about the quality of products i use and then 40 percent is how you use them and the frequency at which you use them which is basically still how you use them right so 40 percent and that 40 percent i promise you guys is non-negotiable so i just applied my serum I am not doing too much of the rubbing. Once I put it on my face, I'm just like spreading and then tapping. So what you want to do is spread and tap, spread and tap. So after that, I go in with my Cos RX Advanced Snail Motion Power Essence. This is it. So I've been using this for over a year now and this snail essence is one of the best thing that has happened to my skin so this is just a pack of hydration is a pack of anti-aging is a pack of um, hydration that the skin needs and it really helps to attract moisture to the skin so with this i like to go under my eyes over my forehead and you know as always tap 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 and you want to also make sure that you're bringing down some of those products down to your neck so tap 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 as usual then after that i like to go in with my sunscreen so i just recently got this sunscreen and it is very very hydrating so this is the BR UV Watery Essence SPF 50. This is from the Aqua brand, the Aqua Rich brand. I think it's a Korean brand because it has all of the writing written in like Chinese, Asian language or something like that. So I'm just going to go in with this. Oh, you can see the consistency, the way it comes out like very liquidy and um let's go over my head too but it's like very very hydrating and yeah so usually when i use the sunscreen because of its nature i don't like to pack in a lot of products so with sunscreen the trick is to spread not rub so you want to spread to allow it to sit on your skin and absorb into your skin so the trick is to spread and not rub because it's meant to sit on your skin like an extra layer of skin right so it's to spread and not rub spread 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 and tap spread and tap your skin will eventually absorb this so i want to make sure i focus under my eyes because that is one of the areas i get sunburned the most i just like to apply the rest of it on my hands so i'm going to just allow it sit for a while allow it absorb into my skin for a while okay so we have that out of the way so the next thing that i like to go in with is this lip balm i'm just going to be wearing a lip balm today i'm not really doing anything super serious today so i just want to hydrate my lips so i normally use this bondi sands the australian tan lip balm with spf 50 so this is also toasted coconut it also has like the coconut scent in it so it's a sunscreen lip balm so i like to 
you just apply this okay already has a little bit of it yeah so this this lip balm it tastes this one this is currently one of my favorite lip balms guys it tastes delicious the coconut in this really makes it taste really good makes it taste nice and it also smells edible this is this is just my best lip balm my favorite by far so that is out of the way so i like to do a little extra stuff under my eyes because my eyes tend to get really dry so right now i'm going with the vaseline blue seal so i'm just going to do a little bit of slogging and i do this on the driest part of my face because sorry i forgot to mention at the beginning of this video so my skin type is combination skin type okay so i have a little bit of a dry skin like underneath my eyes to like the side of my face yeah to the side of my face and sometimes my forehead then the middle the t-zone area of my face is oily so one thing that has really helped my skin to really stay good and at its best is that i treat each area is a little differently so i i treat them differently i don't apply the same amount of products everywhere and there are some parts where i have to add a little bit more you know extra hydration like the dry the dry parts of my face so right now i'm going with going in with this slogan again because of my sunscreen i don't want to rub this in i'm just going to let it sit on top of my face so these are the most sensitive the areas that tend to be the most driest so i'm just slogging it on you know so i'm going in now and i'm spreading it i'm spreading and i'm spreading so it's just going to sit right on top of my sunscreen you know spreading and giving a little bit of that love to my eyelashes and my eyebrows and i'm spreading and i'm bringing it down to this down to like my cheek area which is also dry I'm bringing it down here i'm bringing it down here as well for extra hydration then i'm just tapping in and tapping and tapping and tapping so you can see i'm trying to avoid this area where i have i have larger pores so it doesn't the thing with vaseline is so it has very large molecules and it cannot clog your pores so i've seen a lot of um you know concerns from people online a lot of complaints that vaseline clogs your pores it causes sunburn and all of that vaseline does the opposite of that so it's too large it cannot penetrate your skin so it's just going to sit there like an extra layer and you know it's also like an extra protective layer against sunburn because the thing is so with sunburn it's easier for your skin to like get affected by the sun when it's dry so the more hydrated and moisturized your skin is the better basically so this right now is a complete daytime skincare routine so i'm just going to go ahead fix my hair and <laughs> fix my outfit my hair is really messy but yeah so this is my daytime morning skincare routine so yeah that's it for my morning skincare routine i am going to be showing you guys the nighttime skincare routine in the next part of this video right now i going to have to clean up this makeup uh, and do my skincare okay so i'm going to be clean up my makeup i'm going to be using this dried wipes and my hydrating cleansing oil this is the simple hydrating cleansing oil i've been using this since late last year and it's been really cool i just like to apply like so 
just enough and I go in I start with the eyes because the eyes are the most important part it's like the most delicate part of the skin so you want to make sure that you're cleansing it in the most gentle way and oil is like the most gentle form of cleansing so yeah I'm trying not to be too harsh on my lashes I'm just going to leave the lashes for the last part because when I get into that with oil I might just go blind <laughs> the weather is I just finished washing my face it was wet right now I didn't even clean it and already it's instantly dry see how smooth my nose is but you can just tell how dehydrating this um, season is and I guess that should tell you a lot about what your current skincare routine should be like so for me right now i have switched off from a lot of my oil um reducing products so right now my routine contains more of um products that you know add more hydration and plumpness and spot reducing treatments on my skin so i use like from my soap to my cream to my serums i'm using more of hydrating products right now so this is my toner this is the haru haru wonder black rice hyaluronic toner so it's also a hydrating toner so this is ultra deep technology it's a hydrating toner it really has a very good penetrating property it really goes deep so for me i just like to apply it to my cotton pad and then I just yeah press that down my skin I don't really do much rubbing just press that down my skin just to add that hydration an extra clean extra cleansing in my skin you don't want to get you don't want to forget your eye area I don't really do this um I don't really put much effort but I like to also concentrate on the forehead because I've been getting some tiny um bumps on my forehead don't forget the back of your ears it also harbors a lot of dirt I really like to just go in there as well. The back of my ear. This is all we got from all of that cleaning. So next I go in with my um, CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum with three essential ceramides. That is the liquorice root extract and niacinamide and the retinol encapsulated retinol. So I just recently started using this and you know I'm just hoping that it really adds some good so I don't know why but I really like to shake this up so I don't really put much I just do a little bit of it goes a long way so I just do like four pumps all over my face then I like to it's really light and the texture is really watery as well so yeah I like to go over my smile lines these areas that tend to be dry my forehead over my eyelids 
just like so and this one will go in with some more pumps so it's also important guys that you learn to apply the same product that I apply on your face you need to learn to apply it on your neck as well it's very important very important then try not to rub too much I just I also like to use some just for my hands because retinol is very anti-aging it's very penetrative and it just really helps to kind of rejuvenate that soft youthful skin so i like to put some of it in my hands because i have very dry hands then i like to go in with my three in one snail cream it's from the course rx brand um, just like to a little bit of it. I'm really not supposed to be using, but mm -hmm. just for more of that hydration. Um, so I really don't like to rub this much. I just spread it like water, and a little bit of it goes a long way. This is one of the things I like about this cream a little bit goes a long way just tap 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 spread tap 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 fine lines you definitely want more hydration on the fine lines then i take the rest of the product and i just rub it in my hands to get that hydration for my hands as well after that so i like to do a special routine for under my eyes sometimes i like to go in with this little cream that i have here just for my under eyes because my under eyes are so sometimes if i don't feel like using it another very important tip that i learned on tiktok the other day is one of the good things about castor oil like castor oil has a lot of great benefits for the skin as thick as this oil it has a very high penetrative power like it penetrates and just hydrates the skin from underneath like the deeper layers very very good on and like my under eyes are very dry so what i like to do i just like to spread it like so i don't really rub it in so i just spread it under my eyes sometimes i extend it to just right here because just that layer under my eye is very dry and i go over my lids and i kind of just like to bring it up just so that it can some of it can get on my lashes to moisturize and hydrate my lashes like i said guys this weather is really dry and the lashes the hair is basically a dead element on your skin and it needs all the hydration it can get to survive especially the thing the thin hair like the lashes the lashes your brows so they need a little bit of that TLC so sometimes I also like to bring it over to my brows just rub the rest of the product on my hand on my brow so I like to go in the opposite direction just so that the oil can get underneath you know the hair follicle because it has a very good hydrating power and it's really been helping with like hair growth under there so a little bit of it also on my smile lines and guys right now i might look oily and all of that but i promise you the results in the morning is just amazing okay it's absolutely amazing i won't even lie so right now i'm done with my skincare routine and yeah i think that's it for this night so i'm going to do my prayers and read my bible go to bed and i'll see you guys in the morning